Hey data hoarders and tech fiends. Today we're comparing two storage powerhouses from Seagate. The Exos line and the Ironwolf line. Both drives are incredible for their specific purposes, but which one is right for you? Whether you're running a high demand server or building out a NAS for your home or office, I've got the info to help you make the best choice. So let's dive right in. Now, let's kick things off with the Seagate Ironwolf. If you are building a NAS system, whether it's for personal use or a small business, Ironwolf drives are designed specifically for NAS environments. They are optimized for 24-7 operation, multi-user access, and they integrate seamlessly with NAS systems from brands like QNAP, Synology, TerraMaster, or any of these brands that Seagate typically supports. Ironwolf drives use agile array technology which gives you better vibrational control and RAID optimization, making them the top choice for NAS setups. And here's a major plus. Iron Wolf is designed to keep spinning longer between power downs. That means typically, if you're accessing your NAS periodically throughout the day, you won't have to wait for the drive to spin back up every single time. You will get a snappier performance without waiting for the drive to spin up. Now, interestingly enough, Exos drives do spin up faster, but in the day-to-day -day use, it's better for the drive to be on standby longer. Next, let's talk about noise. If you're using these drives in a setup close by to your desk, Iron Wolf is noticeably quieter, especially during startup. It's a small detail, but if you have your NAS or server next to your workspace, that quieter operation makes a real difference, especially with the amount of drives you have on hand. Exos, on the other hand, tends to be much louder, especially during the spin-up phase, hitting around 61 decibels. We did some basic tests on both the Ironwolf Pro and Exos drives with a cheap decibel meter, and we have found the Exos drives to be noticeably louder, especially during the spin-up. Now, let's talk about the power management. Exos drives has much more aggressive power saving features, which is great for data centers where you need maximum efficiency, but for home or small business use, the Ironwolf's Less strict power management means it stays more responsive. You won't be waiting around for the drive to wake up if you're accessing files only a few times a day for your home everyday use. Another cool feature. Some NAS systems like those from QNAP offer Iron Wolf health management software that actively monitors your drives, giving you real-time diagnostics and better protection for your data. But of course, if you're running a large data center or managing big RAID arrays, then the Seagate Exos is still a powerhouse. Exos drives are designed for enterprise use, meaning they're optimized for handling massive amounts of data with maximum reliability. They're perfect for big environments where power efficiency and strict workload managements are critical. So, to break it down, <laughs> Iron Wolf is designed for NAS, built to be quieter, more responsive, and perfect for small or home setups. And Exos, for those running large-scale enterprise-level systems, where performance under heavy loads and aggressive power management are key. Now let me tell you, if you're looking to optimize your NAS system for home or small business use, Iron Wolf is hands down the better choice. Its design focuses more on keeping your data accessible without powering down to save energy, it's quieter, and the integration with NAS devices is seamless. Sure, Exos is a beast in the right environment, but for most users building out a NAS, Iron Wolf is going to deliver. It's gonna deliver smoother, it's gonna deliver more quiet and more responsive performance. So whether you are upgrading your current NAS setup or starting fresh, Iron Wolf drives are built for the job. You'll get long lasting, high performance storage that's optimized for your needs. If you're interested in picking up some Iron Wolf or Exos drives, please go ahead and check out the links below or to serverpartdeals.com to get your setup running right. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a question if you have any questions about which drive is right for you. <laughs> My name is Gabe with Serverpart Deals, and I'll see you in the next one.